so this week in practice, what have, what have you seen? What? Uh, I don't really have not practiced that much. We had Sunday off. Went yesterday. They were good yesterday. Uh, trying to figure out how to make a shot. This time of year, how much do you have to back off to save legs? Done? I never really have much. I mean, we cut cut the time back a little bit. But, you know, so much like Kansas, so much of what they get is transition. So what are you, you're not supposed to work on your defensive transition? You have to. Delivered a pretty strong message after the Oklahoma game. Do you feel like that was her? Listen, I'm extremely, extremely bright, good looking. Got a lot of redeeming qualities. Can't read minds. I don't know what they think. I, you know, you, you get a point in time where you realize that you have no idea what they're thinking. That's not something you can judge about in practice, even though you've been happy with that. It has to be what you see in games. No, they were, they, they were good. They weren't great. They were good, but we just. Uh, I, I think it's a combination of maybe it's a, it's a lot of things. People patting you on, the, on behind too much, listening to people you shouldn't listen to. Probably not. Probably not as into it as what you you know were when you were really excited and started. I think it's a combination of a lot of things. But I, I don't. We rush things inside for no reason. I think that was the, 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 the biggest problem with not making shots on the interior. I have no, no idea why we don't make any shots on the perimeter. Last show and tell who was. He went a little bit yesterday. He's, he's weak. I had, didn't eat much for three days. Laid around, so he's. I don't know. He may be able to go a little bit. I don't know. Kansas, um, almost different, completely different than the first time you played. Down to four guy, four guards, and the big. What are you seeing there? Whether or not, I mean, he's McCormick's playing a bunch. You know, he's just not starting two of them. Um, I don't know. It, it's kind of like. John Chaney told me one time, you know, you play three bigs and your defense is a lot better, and you play one big and your defense is not very good, but your offense is much better, flows much better. You got guys that can pass it, and that's that's basically what they're doing. Playing Garrett at the four, he bounces it, he, he drives it as well as anybody on their team, other than maybe Dotson, but. I think they kind of got hit with what virtually everybody else they got hit with. We're just having a hard time scoring. Only played eight against TCU. Is he narrowing it down a little bit? I don't know. You'd have to ask him. I just You've watched the game. Have you seen the rotations? I mean, obviously, you pay attention to all that stuff. Not playing as many since the first time? I don't think anybody is. Checks playing a bunch of guys, but they've been you know, they've they've gotten big leads. I think most people have kind of narrowed down their rotations. First time the lob, they were able to get you a little bit on the lob with the dunks to uh, to big guy. Um, is that just uh, an adjustment on their part? What was the what was that was our guys not listening? We told them don't help out. They kept helping up. They kept throwing it over our head. I think after it happened a time or two, you, we just kept helping up. And it's like, what are we not supposed to help? I told you don't help up. Try to make them score the ball through us. We didn't do a very good job. Is there a reason you play better against I could give you a lot of reasons, but I don't want to spend any more money. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> I can translate that. <laughs> I don't, you know, it, we're more comfortable here, I'm sure. Um, I mean, honestly, we're lucky a couple times. They missed a layup. We scored a layup to go up one, and then they missed a open layup to win the game. They missed a shot, I think it was, was it last year, to, to, to win the game. They actually had two of them, and the guy rushed the rebound shot and missed it. I think we're more comfortable. Hopefully we make more shots here than what we do on the road. Well, not just Kansas, but just home and away for college basketball. How difficult is it to win on the road? I think, I, I, I think the honest answer is the more experience you have, the easier it is to win on the road. And us being the 300th youngest team, 300th youngest team in the country, I think that's as much as you don't want to use it as an excuse or not try to fix it, and I think that's that's reality. Ben Exel was at the game in Oklahoma, and and I remember Nick saying, and he kind of upset the the fans in Cincinnati, saying we'd rather play on the road than we would play here. And what he what he didn't say was which he came back and said later was, it's more fun playing on the road, watching their people leave early, watching their people sit on their hands. We personally get more enjoyment out of shutting their people up and having them leave early, you know, than we do winning the game at home. And that's, uh, that's fair, I think. One eighteen game this year. You're into the season now where you're not entirely sure who you want the ball to go to when you need a basket, which is kind of remarkable. You had an instance that's not true. I mean, we threw it inside 22 times. Well, we threw it in more than that, but we got 22 shots. And I think it's pretty obvious we were trying to throw it close. Pretty obvious reason we couldn't make anything from the perimeter, but we didn't make anything inside either. We've been pretty much been inside oriented. I'm trying to think the last time that we made a bunch of shots from the perimeter. It's been a long time ago. Yeah. But you're a really good team that usually had a guy that you could count on to give you 15 at least, if not more. This is a little unique in that regard. I think everybody's team does. Why is Kansas winning? Dotson's leading the league in scoring. Yeah. And, you know, unless you're Unless you're like Baylor, Baylor's just got a whole bunch of guys can score. But you know what? They didn't score. They didn't score last night. It's just Texas scored worse than they did. So, for whatever reason, our league has uh, become a. Well, I think we are the the. We score the least points of anyone in Power Five, which means we. Play pretty good defense in the league. How did you think Oscar learned from the first match with Kansas? He mentioned that he, he really likes going up against us. I hope he learned not to help up. But, well, he learns. He learns every day. I mean, he's he's so young in the game, uh, and he and he's, he wants to be good. So he he's really trying to to pick up anything he can pick up. But he's never played against anybody as big as what their people want. So that was a good experience for him. How do you approach playing the number one three team? You know. I think the last time we did it was, was kind of the same. I think we beat Kansas, who was one in the country here, and then we beat Baylor, who was two in the country here. Uh, I think the difference is we're home and away rather than home and home. We didn't, we didn't really, you don't have to. You know, when you're playing the number one ranked team in the country, you, know, you don't think you have to get everybody all excited. I think you're, they see it enough on TV, they hear enough about it, people talk enough about it that you 
it's harder getting them ready to play the other people than it is the highly ranked teams. These games though take on pretty much extra importance so having, you know, lost the what, four league games now. I think the flip side of that is we've probably beaten them more than anybody else in the league has over the last seven, eight years. I think I saw something where six and one at home in the last seven years, something to that effect, which I didn't realize. But I guess if we are, that certainly is beating them more times than anybody else in the league has. I think. Uh, I think we've become a rivalry for them because they don't get beat very often. Dotson leads the league in scoring. Asabuki doesn't really miss. The defensive strategy to kind of play them straight up and try to stop them or kind of let one of them get theirs and slow down the other? I've had a hard time with that philosophy of letting anybody get anything. Uh, no, we're going to try to guard them. We're going we're gonna, to we're, we're gonna not, hopefully we're not going to help up again. And, and hopefully we do a little bit better job of stopping penetration. But that whole deal came out of giving them too much penetration. Oh, well, it's crazy. Uh, I saw an interview that Bill did, and he he's thinking it's going to be crazy. You don't want to disappoint Bill. Generally is. It's generally a great crowd. Students are really into it. 